Hello grade group, here we have your first sentence that I would like you to mark for me. So, in this sentence there might be punctuation errors or spelling errors. Pause the video and see if you can spot them. Right grade group, how did you get on? Let's start at the beginning. It says this fearsome beast was a two-headed dog with sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Let's see the first error. The first one we can see there should be a capital T for this. Fearsome, that's correct. Beast, now look, the spelling in beast is incorrect. Spelling is E, cup of tea for beast. Was, oh dear. Now we know that was is spelt like this. Lots of children spell it phonetically like that. We know that's the proper name. Was a two-headed dog. Whoops, the G is mirrored, it's round the wrong way. With chop teeth. That's the wrong beginning, isn't it? Shh, with sharp teeth. We'll say that one. And powerful, that's right, and right, jaws, excellent. And then, whoopsie, we've forgotten that full stop. How did you get on? Lots to edit there. I hope you managed it. Let's do another one. Here's your second sentence. Pause the video. Look for any spelling errors or grammatical errors. And remember, with grammar, when you read the sentence aloud, it won't sound quite right. Maybe there are words that are misplaced. See if you can fix it. Pause the video. Right, are we ready? Let's have a look at the first few. So the, no problem with that, we tick it. Scary, did you spot it? It's not double E, is it? Now the E sound often ends with a Y, like scary, happy, lovely, all ending it in a Y. Scary monster, that's correct. The scary monster were so big. Does that sound right? Which word's wrong? It's were. We say was. And we say was because there's only one monster. If there was more than one monster, we would use were. The scary monster was so big that... No, not that. We say that. Th that. That it blocked... Hmm. Blocked. Whoops. That's the wrong way around. There we go. Blocked. Out. Ow. Ow, shout it out. Or ow, brown cow. Ow, shout it out. That it blocked out the sun. Whoops. Sun in the sky. So there's an ah. Uh. That's the sun, like the daughter in the sun. When it spread its wings. Did you notice anything? Spread. Spread is actually spelt like that. How did you get on, Grey Group? Lots of mistakes there, and we fixed them all together. Well done. Right, Grey Group, I decided that for our last day together, I would give you a slightly different task to do. This is make your own mythical creature. It says here, cut out, colour in and stick together the body parts to make your own strange creature. You can draw parts of your own and add them in too if you want to, or just draw your own to start with. Use the ideas from the storybook that we've read together and make up your own. You can make up your own name too. It should be lots of fun for you. I would also recommend on Oxford Owl reading the storybook Mythical Beasts and Fabulous Monsters. 
It's quite a challenge, but I think lots of you will really enjoy it. Thank you so much for working incredibly hard in phonics. I'm very proud of all of you. Have a fantastic half term. Bye for now.